I look at five pillars of life, like how you also mm. look at different pillars of life. Yeah. I look at five pillars of life, which is first is mental and emotional. Mm. Second is physical pillar. Third is a spiritual pillar. Fourth is a financial. And fifth is the social, which is the relationship. So if I had to ask you honestly, yeah, right? No bullshit, right? No, just showing that we are the best. We are all work in progress. We are yeah. not perfect human beings. Out of all these pillars, how do you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the highest? Let's talk about spiritual pillar. That's nine. That's nine. Yeah. Just about one, one and a half years ago, how much was it? Three. Three. And, and we're going to dive deep dive yeah, into this yeah. because a lot of people don't understand the power of spirituality. Yeah, yeah. You know, you made millions, but yes, you were still. Three. What is the word that will describe three? I was dead inside. Dead inside. Yeah. Man. I was like making millions because society was looking at me, mm. expecting me to make success. But then I realized I was alive in the body, dead in the spirit. That's so crazy. So three is even too high. <laughs> I remember some conversations, so we'll talk about that. So let's dive into spirituality. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, you were making millions, right? You proved yourself from being that person who was a failure as per your father yeah. to becoming successful as per your father or your family. Yeah. But inside, you were dead. Yeah. What was that feeling like? And, you know, just, just give me this, describe that feeling that you had and what did you do to overcome that? So basically, when uh, I mean, COVID helped me a lot to focus and succeed financially because mm -hmm. I was just working, working, working. And then I had this team of people that are amazing. They work remotely. Uh, our culture is strong. They are motivated, but I felt empty. It's, it's like I was seeing the number coming in, but then I remember walking down the beach in the summer with my wife. And I was feeling so empty. I was saying, yeah, everybody look up at me like I am the mentor. I was one of the main sales innovators in Italy. Uh, we brought closing with the- you, You're uh, actually the number one salesperson in Italy. Yeah, yeah I'm the number one sales trainer in yeah. Italy right now. Yeah. But sales uh, is, is you give me money and I give you a service, but that was not enough for me. Mm. So when you get paid, but you don't get fulfilled, by getting paid, you start feeling empty. So I was in Ibiza, which was for me a point of uh, reborn in my life. I went there after US in 2011. I started doing events, but my events were more like on the spiritual side. Ibiza has two sides. Night mm. si nighttime is total craziness. Nightlife. Daytime is the most spiritual place in the world because there is this huge rock, it's called Esvedra, is the third magnetic point in the world. So mm -hmm. that was a huge spiritual awakening place. Mm -hmm. So the awakening happened in a place that has enough energy to awaken. Many people look for awakening and spirituality mm -hmm. in places where it's not possible. There are places for awakening spirituality and places to make a lot of money. Dubai is a place to make a lot of money. That's very interesting. Yeah. And I'm going to come to that as well, because I've experienced this myself, that places have energy. Yeah. And whatever place you go in, you know, you consume that energy. Yeah. Right. And Dubai needs a lot of spiritual energy. Yeah. Right. It, it, it has a lot of materialistic success. There's definitely there's a good vision. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of good life as well um, in terms of comfort, in terms of ease. But a lot of spirituality can be instilled because I see a lot of people telling me that people in Dubai have a lot of money, but they're seeking peace of mind, time, freedom, relationship. Yeah. Right. And I'm, and coming back to that, the change. So you you went deep into. So basically, one day, world. you know, the mentor arrives when you are ready. Yeah. So in Ibiza, there are a lot of spiritual practice uh, practitioner, like spiritual, uh, I, I can say, facilitators. Mm. I went to this. Uh, um, it was called Kundalini Awakening process. Basically, you lie down and you surrender. Mm. And when you are a business person, surrender your mind is the hardest thing to do. Because you already have a lot of labels and tags in your head. I'm this, I'm this. And yeah. you know, you know yourself a certain way. Yeah, you build this uh, mask. Mask, yes, yes, yes. And that mask is your identity that can uh, protect you from people that uh, didn't believe in you. Mm. So you when, you, when you have this mask, this mask is heavy. Yeah. I don't want people to think it's a light mask. Light it's, mask. Like, it's like a the heaviest material heaviest mask, mask. Yeah. you go around like this. Yeah. So I went to this event 
and the uh, like the facilitator told us surrender for me surrender was a verb that i never considered i said yeah. surrender yeah it's possible and in that session i surrender something weird happened to me you know i never believed in chakras energy i always believe we are a body making money and die yeah and just win more and all inners yeah. you know our movement was yeah, yeah win more no plan b uh, kill your enemies whatever but in that s- session i felt the chakras opening mm. that was what people call uh, awakening moments yeah when the chakras open i started having vision and the first thing i see is my uncle in the like dead you know i remember his face when we closed the session uh, the coffin no oh, coffin and from that moment my adventure start you know my my revenge start so from that moment i see all the people in my life coming in and uh, they they i understand why i met these people mm. and also something very hard for me happened because i see also that i use the people for success you know when you when you squeeze your like your um, your team to do more and achieve yeah. more yeah, and the yeah. first thing i did after that first of all was the first time i was awakened i was seeing the energy in the trees mm. i was seeing everything alive in the rocks with a, with life force wow that's interesting so there the first thing i did i took the phone call my ex sales manager she was a, a friend of mine and i say sorry i just realize why i met you and why um you helped me to achieve this that i achieved and what was her reaction she oh, was very pleased because sometimes people that work with you in business they just want to feel uh, considered and also they give you a lot of energy mm. but in business we we just think is we so, are entitled to people helping us you know mm, because we are paying them yeah you're paying them so that's why i i place one in my relationship because i want to have relationship that are not because i pay you you know when um, and then the spirituality uh, start growing in my life i i went deeper i start healing i went i i start dressing white and not red and black <laughs> i was dressing red and black speaking yeah. about sales yeah and then you know just taking off layers because mm. these are layers even these yeah. yeah it's white i'm i'm not comfortable like this yeah but even our body is a layer yeah like you know body is a layer body is just a layer is yeah. a suit that we wear exactly right exactly and that changed your everything, life everything how do you feel now when you say you know you you said nine uh, yeah right now i feel you know when uh, when uh, i feel i know my mission mm. and your life ch- your life is two way not when you born and when you realize you have just one maybe but when you born and when you find why you born yeah and that's a mission but as you say passion is first and if you awaken mission is next mm. Mm. so if you unite passion and mission but you cannot say i'm on a mission if you're not awakened how do you know you're awakened you know why you do what you do Mm. and you don't do it for yourself and for the money anymore you that is powerful money. that is powerful yeah. you know i want you guys to make a note and this is i love what the conversation we are having is how do you know that you're awake how do you know that you're alive yeah is you know your passion and you know your mission and then you pursue that with your whole heart yeah exactly that is when you're awake ultimately what you're seeking is freedom to fully become who you are meant to become and fully live the way you're supposed to live something was suppressing me i started working on myself but the progress was at the snail speed i was like very much fearful whenever i think about leaving my job i am not able to take that decision we all have this yodha the warrior within us that is the personality that you already have within you and you have to bring it out you 
have to have the truth. You have to speak when it's required. I cried after this session, almost after good 30, 40 years. I think I spent most of yesterday crying. When you connect with your heart in a safe space with people who are on the same journey, I think it's an incredibly powerful thing to do. I feel I have win all the fears and I'm the king of my own kingdom. No one wants, I'm a warrior. Wherever I want, I want to speak, definitely I will speak. I will do what I need to do and let the universe decide the result. Let it flow. From now onwards, I'll be taking massive, massive actions and no excuses at all. More than business now, I have the self-satisfaction of serving the community. The respect which I lost everywhere, even within my family, I'm able to regain the same. Uh, I can say I came with a very huge burden, but end of the day I can say I'm going as a new version of me.